good morning students today we are going to see the supplementary the name of the supplementary is the cat and the painkiller and who wrote the supplementary is mark twain his name is mark twain so it was an extract from the adventure of tom sawyer so it was a no big novel and it was a small portions of the novel and we are going to see the novel as a supplementary reader here okay first let us read who is mark twain above the author samuel lahon clemens so his original name is samuel lahon clemens and his period of time is 1835 to 1910 better uh, he is better known by his per name mark twain or san and he is also known for the name mark twain his he was an american writer humorist so he is also an entrepreneur entrepreneur in the sense a uh, social writer so social interested persons and also a publisher and a, and a lecturer so twain was raised in hannibal missouri which later provided the setting for his novels so his famous works are the adventure of tom sawyer and the adventure of huckleberry finn so we used to, we have already here a famous novel no huckleberry finn and and one more story is tom sawyer so in this this both novels were introduce a humorous and a socialist person and an entrepreneur to the world and he was a famous humorous writer and he was a famous american writer okay in this supplementary also we are going to see a small portion of the novel the adventures of tom sawyer okay let us read what is the supplementary becky thatcher his friend had stopped coming to school this disturbed tom he became unhappy the charm of life was gone there was nothing but boredom left he put his hope away and his bat there was no joy in them anymore and so his aunt polly was concerned she was infatuated with patents medicines and all new methods of producing health or mending it she was an incurable experimenter in these things so becky thatcher is a girl and she was a friend of tom while one day she left from her school by then tom was feeling too unhappy okay after that she left the school tom was too unhappy and he thinking that there were no friends for him and he started felt very bad himself and he was too al- alone every time so seeing all this his aunt named called aunt polly and she started infatuated with many different medicines to bring him that back to his ordinary life because she never know that he lost his friend from the school but she thought that she, he felt with some uncurable disease so she started giving many different types of medicine to cure him so next one she began to try all manners of remedies on tom the water treatment was new now on tom's low conditions was a windfall to her she had him out at daylight every morning stood by him up in the wood shed and drowned him in cold water then she rubbed him hard down with a towel like a file then she rolled him up in a wet sheet and put him away under blankets so she used to give many different kinds of medicines and one day she found some different types of med- medicinal curing thing and she started taking a uh, tom to a sunshine uh, where the sun rays are falling she took the tom to the place and he started 
him to stand without wearing in a, a coats or a shirts in her open body she used to stand him like that in the sun rays and she also giving a and she also dip him dip na thanni pacha thanni illa ulla ukkara vachi elndirupaangala so he avana vandu full ave vandu eerama nanikiraanga so she also covered him with a wet towel wet towel wet towel na eeramana thuni so she also covered him with a wet towel and that was a new treatment she started to cure him yet not withstanding all this the boy grew more and more sad and pale and dejected so even she did all these things the tom was not curing by anything he also he becoming too dull and dull every day and day so he also dejected in his life he is thinking that there were no friends for him and she and he lost his only friend of named becky thatcher so he is thinking very bad of him so the next one she added hot baths sits baths shower baths and plunges the boy reminded bored she began to assist the water with a slime old meat oat meal died and the blister plasters she calculated his capacity and filled him up every day with quack cure alls he became fed up and so he thought over various plans of relief and finally hit upon that of professing to be fond of painkiller he asked for it so often that he become a nuisance and has his aunt entered by telling him to help himself and quite bothering her so stopping that treatment and uh, after that aunt polly started giving a new different treatments like giving a different types of baths baths na kulikirathu so she started giving a different types of baths and also she covered him with the plasters blister plasters and she used to give him a food of oat milks oat milks na oats saapuvom la so oat milks vandu food diet ah kudukranga and he she used to give many medicines and tonics to him for his curing alls so but even uh, she giving all the treatments he never requiring required himself but he had a very bad very bad ha- happens and he, he learned something that he he needs some tonics tonics and medicines to drink daily so if he drink the tonic he may think that he felt very nice in his place so he uh, used to ask his aunt give some medicines to me that will may give us a give me a painkiller that may cure me so give me painkiller every time and every day so he is asking like that at last harna and realized that he become a addict to the tonic so she stopped the thing what what she gave to him so she stopped and he is she is saying that so i i would not give any of the medicines to you here after because you are taking is an addict so i won't give you anything you can cure him yourself when you feel free so she says uh, like that and she left the place she found that the medicine did really diminish but it did not occur to her that the boy was mending the health of a crack in the sitting room floor with it so she also seeing that even there was a many different kinds of medicine were given to tom he didn't get requires but and also he used to she felt very sad and sit on the floor with the within a sad manner so next one day tom was in the act of doing the 
crack when his aunt cat peter came along pouring eyeing the teaspoons greedily and begging for a taste tom said don't ask for it unless you want it peter so aunt have a pet name called peter and it was a cat and aunt was not at the home at that time so peter a uh, tom took a tonic and have take it as anna spoon and he thought that before aunt coming he can taste some tonics so because he were addicted on this tonics and medicines right so he thought that before aunt coming he can taste some tonic so he take in a spoon full of tonic while he take to his mouth the peter soying him like give me some some quantity of tonic that may help me to taste how it feels like a taste feels the taste so the peter is asking like shining uh, giving the signing to tom but tom is saying that no it was not for you don't ever ask, ask me so i won't give to you but peter signif- so next one but peter signified that he did not he did want it you better make sure peter was sure so to after even tom saying that peter will not, peter is not leaving the place and peter is seeing the spoon and the tonic without taking its eyes and peter uh, tom asking is that sure you need the tonic and peter is signifying that signifying na peter vandu abdi sign kaatade enak venum abindra mari signing kaatade now you have asked for it and i will give it to you because there ain't anything mean about me but if you find you do not like it you mustn't blame anybody but your own self so after seeing that tom decided to give some tonic to her or uh, to the peter and also he is saying that okay let me give you some tonic a teaspoon of tonic but after drinking the tonic you should not blame others because the taste was too bad so you should not blame others and the tom warning the peter and the peter also agreeable so the P- peter agreed what the tom was offered him so next one so tom opened his mouth and poured down the painkiller peter sprang a couple of yard in the air and then delivered a war whoop and set now rounds and round the round banging against furniture upsetting flower pots and making general confusions next he rose on his hind feet and danced around in a frenzy of enjoyment with his head over his shoulder and his voice proclaiming his happiness so what after the drinking the tonic peter did is it started dancing like a drunkard man it's going there and flying over the floor pots and it's jumping over the chairs to chairs and it's it started jumping to a 15 feet height and it started behave like a full drunkard man so it also seems to be very funny and it's started dancing like a cat catwalk woman so it and you it started disturbing all the things in the house so what happens the next is then he went tearing around the house again spreading chaos and distractions in his paths and polly entered in the time to see him throw a few double somersault deliver a final mighty hurray and sail through the open window carrying the rest of the flower pots with him the old lady stood petrified with astonishment peering over her glasses tom lays on the floor expiring with laughter so 
the yeah, peter started broken all the things peter also broke the flower pots was loved by loved and cared by the aunt polly peter loved, broke on the flower pots also and uh, it started broken all the things in the house by then the time aunt polly is re-entering to the house and she is hearing some noises what was the noise she is she is thinking herself and he she slowly entering into the house and she saw that the peter peter and the tom doing all the funny things and the and broking all the things in the house the peter after seeing all the things she felt very bad and she started and even she was a old lady right so she announcement here herself and peering na polambradun solvanga so vandu romba polambite irukanga so all the glasses were broken in her house all the pots and whatever it is all were broken by the cats and the tom's behaviors so now tom so then the next one tom what on the earth ails that cat i don't know and gasped the boy why i never see anything like it what did make him act so did i not no aunt polly cats always act so when they are having good time they do not do do they there were something in the tone of that may tom apprehensive so aunt polly asking to tom what did you do to the peter why it is behaving like this and uh, tom is ha- answering like this no i never and i didn't do anything i don't know why the cat peter is behaving like this so he answered him to the uh, answer to the aunt polly but aunt polly is not accepting her his answers and she also noticing that his voice was some voice having some different tones that was saying a lie and she realized that tom is saying some lies and she is saying that no it would not give any this much of behaviors very bad behaviors in any time by now why, why did it behaves like this did you give any thing to it she is asking to tom the next one yes i am the that is i believe they do yeah you do yes mm. yes i am the old lady bent down and took the teaspoons and held it out tom winced and dropped his eyes aunt polly raised him by the usual hand his ears and cracked his head soundly with her thimble so what happened to the next uh, they were conversation like that the paul aunt polly is asking what happened to the peter and the pitom is replying that no i have never done anything to the peter so this was the conversation between the them two and while that again and again she was asking about the thing and at last tom accepted that he gave something to the peter and now the old lady ben- bending down and seeing that there were a spoon and she took the spoon and seeing that it was an ordinary spoon that she used to have a she used to take the tonics to giving to the give to the tom and she noticed it was a tonic spoon the spoon full of tonic and she noticed that and she asked the thing what was the thing happened before she coming to the house now she understand what happens in the house now she catch catch the ear of the tom and she pulled him and he give a nice slap to him slap na nalla oru adi adichita kannathile adichitaanga 
So now, sir, what did you want to treat that poor dumb beast so far? I don't it out of a pity for him because he hadn't any hand. So after beating him, and Polly is asking, that was a small cat. Why you did a do did so far the thing happened to him? Why did you treating it like this? She asking to Tom, and Tom replying that. No, it was a pity for him. So now, my love, here I come to tell you something. So I am giving in it in a kind manner. So don't mistake me. If it has any aunt, it will not be treating like this. The aunt will take care of the cat. Like that, he is saying to Aunt Polly. So Aunt Polly answering, questioning that had in any aunt. You numbskull. What has that got to do that with it? So, Aunt Polly is asking, "Oh, if the cat have an aunt, what did you stupid? What are you saying like this? What will the cat cat's aunt will do to it?" Okay, na question ke kide? Oh, so apna na cat ka aunt or insna? Enna pannu cat ko pay or aunt ko ma lose mari pay saada? Okay, na? question panadhu so question pandranga and poli so now the tom is replying heaps because if he had one she had burned him out herself she would a uh, roasted bowl out of him thought any more feeling that if he was a human so the tom is replying that if the cat have an aunt she will give a boiled Foods to the cat, and it. You don't think that. Ah, na mande oru manushana irunda manushana irka kudada apniindo or feelings avande. And the cat ikka varavitra kamaatanga apni na. Ah, Tom is replying to Aunt Polly. Aunt Polly felt a sudden painful dread. So hearing from the word, these words to the Tom, Aunt Polly feeling very bad for her. and she was feeling very painful this was putting the thing in a new light what was cure cureality to a cat might be cureality cruelty to a boy too she began to soften she felt sorry her eyes watered a little and she put her hand on tom's head and said gently i was meaning for the beast tom and tom It did no. It did do you good. Tom looked up in her face with just a recon recognizable twinkle peeping through his gravity. So, hearing the commands of the Tom, Aunt Polly felt very painful and thinking that so Tom was having a mental and uh, mental pressures, and he is. have a humble minded in this pets and he and she was sorry for him and she hugged him with a hugged him in his head and saying that i was the and you was the best tom so you are doing a good thing so abhi soli ite vand tom paakra tom also looking up to his face and his face and saying that பீப்பிங் ட்விங்கிள் பீப்பிங்னா அவங்க கண்ணிலேருந்து ரொம்ப கண்ணீர் வடி இதுன்னு சொல்லுவாங்களா ஸோ ட்ராப்லெட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஐஸ் ஷீ யூஸ் ஷீ ஹாவ் சம் ட்ராப்லெட்ஸ் இன் ஹர் ஐஸ் அண்ட் டாம் சீன் தட் ஹர் ஐஸ் ஐட் நோ யூ வாஸ் மீனிங் ஃபார் த பெஸ்ட் ஆண்ட் அண்ட் ஸோ வாஸ் ஐ வித் பீட்டர் இட் டன் ஹிம் குட் டு ஐ நெவர் சீ ஹிம் அரவுண்ட் ஸோ சென்ஸ் ஓ நோ லாங் வித் யூ டாம் before you annoy me again and you try and see if you cannot be a good boy for once and you need not take any more medicines so now the auntie is replying that so you are a good boy peter uh, tom you are not an annoying person you are a good person and you are too kind for me and you are my boy so you need not need to take any medicines here after just leave as you wish and whatever you want you need 
just ask from me so aunt polly replied like that and the story is story or the novel of the portion is ending her now okay let us read the glossary infatuated inspiring with an intention but short lived passions or admirations for someone or something plunges act of casting or thrusting forcibly or suddenly into something liquid quack a fraudulent or ignorant pretender to medical skills professing claiming often falsely that on has a quality or feeling frenzy a state of uncontrolled excitement somersault somersault and acrobatic acrobatic movement either forward or backward in which the body rolls and end over end makes a complete revolution extremely uh, revolutions prettified extremely frightened so thank you students